Welcome back. I appreciate you being here. As always, lots of requests for the Sermon Brand 2.0 wallet. So without further delay, let's get into it. From a packaging perspective, uh, Sermon Brands is very consistent. They have this uh, parchment type box here. If we get into here, a uh, nice cloth bag. They do provide very consistent packaging and uh, for the price you pay for this particular wallet, it's actually really good. And it's a good presentation. And here's the wallet. This is a slate gray. Mm -hmm. More things. 12 month warranty, which we will mention is actually a good thing. Thank you. And this has a, and a pull strap here, so we will get this out here. And there we go. Instructions on how to use this. I'm thinking we just need to push this back down really quick. There we go. Quick look now. Let's take a look at uh, how this was constructed quickly before we get into the feature review. Rolled over edges on the leather. Sewing is good. Slight reinforcement, probably not uh, as much as I would prefer, but that's all right. Plastic, don't like that. Remember not to eat these. Huh, not too bad. Now onto the feature review of the Sermon Brands 2.0 wallet. Lots going on with this wallet. On the exterior, we have a exterior card slot. It has a thumb push here to be able to get the cards out. This is uh, really good for quick access cards. And um, from what I'm told, and we'll talk about this, tap pay should work with this, even though it has RFID in it. Yes, it does have RFID, but there are different frequencies, and these folks are dialing in on what that is. So we flip it over. On the back, we have a pull strap access for the top here, and uh, this is really quite nice to have cards in here. Another kind of semi-quick access. Pull the strap, pull the card, and if we open this up, we immediately see that on the left-hand side, we have one, two card slots right here, which is nice, and on this Opposite side, we have an ID window here, plastic, don't really like the plastic, thumb push, we get the card out, and another card slot behind it here. Now, if we move into the interior further in the billfold pocket, that's what we have, billfold pocket. This is where your cash goes in here. Uh, there are no secret compartments in here. It's very straightforward. And with that, we have a review of the features, the Sermon Brands 2.0 wallet. Now into the card and cash insertion test. You saw I got seven cards in there and five slips of cash. They say it can hold up to nine cards plus 10 notes. Well, it reasonable is probably four, eight. It's probably pushing it. It starts to get thick. I mean, it just has a lot of pockets in it. Now, from a quality perspective, Sermon Brands wallets are designed in the United States, but they do engage other international designers from around the world because they do have rather functional designs. Really good here. The manufacturing is done in China and or India. Yes. <laughs> All right, let me soapbox on this for a few seconds. Just because something is made in China doesn't make it poor quality. It's not the Chinese factory, it's who's requesting the product. It all comes down to the detail of your production manual and your quality control specifications. Honestly, when something is of poor quality, it's due to those who provided the specifications, not the factory. Additionally, there's a big difference between mass-produced products which meet price point in the market and other products that meet other market segments. It's all comes into play in this whole thing. For example, think of the iPhone. It's made in China and as almost all Apple products are and uh, that's Chinese quality. It's really good. Now I've been to China many, many times and I've had products actually made in China and you get what you ask for in that case. Now it's all full grain leather, chrome tan, which, yeah, which is okay. Now it does, as I mentioned, have RFID. I know, ooh, RFID, yeah. But let me explain what Sermon Brands has done. And uh, you know, if 
RFID is to persist in the marketplace, at least they can do this, and they are. Now, there are two common frequencies used with RFID, 125 kilohertz and a 13.56 megahertz. Most access credentials, door cards, bus passes, other things that we use within the US are on the lower frequency, 125 kilohertz. Summer brand uses materials that only blocks the higher megahertz, thus leaving the everyday access cards unblocked. That's good. Now, I still believe that RFID is not needed. I do like that a company like Summer Brands is willing to try and ease up a bit to give us compatibility capabilities. Now, the price is $30. From a usability perspective, Summer Brands wallets, uh, there are many different card slot options, but each card can really only hold, slot can only hold one, one to two, otherwise it becomes overloaded. As we can see here, I mean, we've got no cash in here right now, and we have seven cards, and if we were to put cash back in this, um, it, it begins, we saw in the measurements, that it was all, already, you know, almost three quarters of an inch. And so if we uh, put this back in here and look at this from a, is this going to be in my pocket situation? It might be okay. And, and honestly, there is nothing wrong with this wallet. And, and that's probably a good size of not getting much bigger than that. Now, from a measurement perspective, it's 4.2 by 3 by 0.5 and weighs 57 grams. It does have a 12-month warranty. We saw that in the card. And the company's website is full of really good information and resources about their wallets. Uh, they're confident in what they provide, and my personal experience and those I read of others really are good with this with this brand. Now, starting out with men's wallets, they've also begun to offer women's accessories too. The company was established in 2015, and they've grown a brand that presents themselves well with affordable accessories that do perform. So now let's get on to the final score. For quality, a three. Price, a four. Features, a four. Usability, a four. And perception, a four. That gives us a final score of 37 out of 50. Smash that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, do so. You never thought you'd be watching a review of wallets. Well, you just did. And uh, I know you can't get enough. You want more of these. I know. I know. I'm being, uh, I'm really being pushy. We'll see you in the next review.